Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. Look at the children dancing around. Alrighty, we are at Whole Foods going shopping for ingredients for our next recipe. Waiting for the elevator. Hayden is having fun with the shopping cart as we wait. And Phoenix is asleep. <laughs> so, Kaden, we're looking for gluten free bread. If it has wheat in it, it means. I can, that I can cut it. What do we got? So that has wheat. Yeah, you know, I think this is not the gluten-free section. Oh! There's organic. But not gluten-free. Wait. Oh, wait! I saw this on Instagram. I didn't know they sold it at Whole Foods. It's this sourdough gluten-free bread. Well, let me see if it has eggs in it. I will buy one loaf of that if it is vegan. Boy, this is uh, heavy. Okay. Let's see. Wow, this is heavy for bread. Is she awake now? Yeah, my sister just awake. Whole grain vegan. No starches, no guns, non-GMO. Look, sounds good to me. All right, Kaden. Chill out. Kaden, I need you to get um, a fun-shaped box of pasta. And it looks like those are on sale. It's These? It's chickpea pasta. That's penne made from pasta from chickpea. Is so this the pasta that we need? Yeah, grab it and put it in the... Okay. Nope. Okay, that's good. Thank you. So I just have this to is, brag and this is just a little bit that the Whole Foods brand is actually really affordable. All right, let's get some black olives. I can find them. Yeah. Okay, it's looking like black olives. Yeah. Do they have the ones that are sliced? Yes, they do. Right over here. Sliced black olives. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Uh-huh. Okay, friends. Mommy. Time to chill out. Yeah, mommy. Chill out because we're yeah, in the freezer aisle. Yeah, we are. This is amazing. They have all this awesome uh, dairy-free cheese. Mm -hmm. And mommy is so excited about this. So let's get the, and the dairy-free sour cream. Let's see, where can we find Dairy Hill sour cream? They have the uh, height hill, just like feta. Yeah, I'm, I'm really amazed. Okay, I'm gonna look for the sour cream. Shopping, and remember when I made that joke over there about the chill out? Yeah. Okay. I think we chilled out a little too much. Why? <laughs> are you having cold fingers? Like, my fingers are getting cold. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you can see that. Woo, that's a little a too ice. close, sweetie. It's a little ice. There's like ice on my fingers. I know, right? <laughs> I have to keep them in the It's a nice welcome break. So this is our little princess. Daddy put a little blanket. And I see this so cute. We're in the frozen section. Yep, and it was Daddy. really cute. All right, so we are peeling garlic. Well, not peeling it. We're getting six cloves out. I'm doubling the recipe because vegans love avocados. And maybe some of the people in my family will love it. Maybe Daddy will love it. And, um, and he'll give it a try. All right, this recipe is actually already vegan, which is so exciting for me. But um, there's just a couple of things I'm gonna modify 
Um, actually, so Caden, we don't actually need six cloves. We're going to use um, we're going to use half the amount of garlic because for autoimmune people, garlic can sometimes stimulate our immune system if it's really really powerful. Um, so just put three cloves into that bowl. This is something that we saw on her show that if you just soak the cloves for a minute in boiling water, oh, they... Oh, this one came on peel by itself. Oh, that's okay. That's probably a yucky one. Just put, um... Then the skins basically come off by themselves. So, I'm... What I'm doing is I'm having half the amount of garlic and I'm adding some spices. Okay. Um, my adobo powder from Mrs. Kimball, which is a really good addition. It's got cumin and cayenne because I'm not going to add the chilies that she recommends um, because of the nightshades. And I soaked my walnuts and instead of using spinach, I'm going to use kale because kale is lower in oxalates. I actually just read today that higher oxalate um, foods can block calcium absorption. So, um, so that's probably why I was feeling tired the other day when I ate spinach. It makes sense. Alrighty, we'll be right back. But um, I'm super excited that we started this recipe and that Caden is doing the lemon zest. The last time I did this, I got a, I cut my finger a little bit. Oh, right. So, yeah, live and learn. You have it was to... a mistake. Of course. It always happens in cooking. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm actually going to take the two handfuls of kale and put them in another bowl of boiling water. Since we don't have a microwave, um, that's the next best thing to just thawing it out a bit. I'll be back. All right, so what we're doing now is getting the zest that's stuck on the grater actually go in the bowl. Caden did an awesome job of zesting. Look how that lemon. I got. Look yeah, at that. that lemon looks pretty bald. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so now can you cut the lemon in half? Okay. I have, in the meantime, slipped off the skins for the garlic and I'm actually going to go ahead and smash it so that, as Mrs. Kimball said, when you smash it, and I think this is just a universal Look, kitchen look, truth. Look at that. Look at that. Great slamming. slice. Great slice. Can I lick it? Oh no. Why not? Because then we wouldn't be able to use it, honey. Oh. Um, that when you smash garlic, it releases the healthy compounds. So I'm going to do that right now while Kaden is using our really cool. Oh, hold on a second, buddy. You put this side down, and then all of that juice is going to come right out into the bowl. He's seen me do this like a ton of times. I like practically live on lemon and lime juice. So, yeah, that's a great job. Look at how smashed that is. Look at how smashed that is. I know, it makes them into like little discs of like cookies. <laughs> lemon cookies. Lemon wedge cookies or lemon half cookies. Awesome. Yeah, again, we're doubling this recipe because mommy is avocado hungry and uh oh i'm so excited about this recipe and trying ah I'm trying it out can you get a little more juice out of this one just try let's see what happens very nice all right i need two hands to do the garlic so hold on all right so now kaden is going to take the cloves and because we want our extra garlicky nutrition uh, why don't you Press them over the, um, well, no, just leave them on the, on the cutting board, actually. And he's going to, I don't know if four cloves is a little too much for that press. Maybe try two. Sorry. They're all welded. Keep, I keep cutting off Caden's head in the shot by accident. Um, so, yeah. What is, look at, What's going on? It smells so good. I wish you could smell that, but it just <laughs> smells so good. Garlic is amazing, isn't it? Smell it, Mom. Yeah, Mommy would eat garlic all day long if she could. Whoa, so powerful. <laughs> wow. 
Us. Even just smelling garlic is like quite an experience. Okay. Wow. You got you got all four of those in there smashed up. Okay, so take them out. That's all we want. We want just to smash so that the compounds get released. And apparently every seven minutes, oh, not all of them went through. That's, yeah. So in the meantime, while he's smashing those, I'm doing what she said and I'm gonna, uh, I drained out the water. I just, I didn't make this hot. I just defrosted it. So it's kind of, <laughs> look at that yummy garlic. Um, I just well, defrosted it. Sweetie it pie, own. you are interrupting, and I love you, but you're interrupting. So the kale um, that I'm using is I'm gonna squeeze it out by hand to get even more of the water out, and then I'm gonna pop it in the food processor. Now he's gonna put the kale into the food processor. After nearly losing the kale. <laughs> okay. Okay, carefully put the kale. Use your other hand if you want to get it all out. Yes. Please use your other hand. No, you can get some more. Use this knife? Uh, sure. Alright, let's get all that kale into there. And next we're going to cut some avocados. So we're going to use that knife. Caden, do you know how to cut an avocado? You just cut it in half, right? Yeah, that's right. And you gotta cut around that big giant seed that's in the middle. Yeah, so, I wonder what plant avocados make. Uh, an avocado plant? An avocado tree? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So let me see you let me thing. see you cut the avocado in half. Alright, so Caden wanted to show you the difference between the two pits. There's the really big one he's working on right now. And there's the one that we just threw away in the trash that's smaller. Way smaller. Yeah. So here's the one that was in the first avocado. Uh huh. And here's the one that was in the second avocado. Yeah, they're it's just. It's a huge difference! It is a huge difference. I wonder if they're different breeds of avocado. Super interesting. All right, let's see Caden cut the avocado the way that Mommy just showed him. Yep, stand it up on its edge, and then go all the way around. Most and then the it just goes in half. Ta-da! All right, so Caden is now putting the lemon into... Where she has to drink his water. The lemon and the lemon zest all in there. I think the lemon's... Lemon's S turns into lemon juice. Can you, can you make sure it all goes in there? All that hard work that you did grating. Awesome. Can you put the lid on? Wait, what about the garlic? Not yet. We're following the recipe order. No, 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 put the lid on, honey. It's not oh. even gonna turn on without the lid on. Oh. Okay. I kinda wanna put it in here. Well, let's see what can happen, okay? So go ahead and turn it on. Kaden, can you put the flax oil, about three quarters of a cup in there? I don't know how much that is. It's so that it's 75% full. So like a little more than halfway? Yes. That is correct. And I'll take a look. And you're done. The reason why we're using flax is because we want to improve our omega-3 ratio. Yeah, that looks good. Let me pour the rest in because nope. there's barely any. There's barely any? Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Gosh, I didn't realize how small these bottles are. They're perfect. Flax oil is a... Uh, oh, oh. cheapers. Oh, that almost... That was almost tragic. Um, flax oil is a wonderful source of omega-3s and anti-inflammatory. Okay, go ahead and... Oh. Turn it on, turn it on, and then, yeah. Oh, whoops! I forgot to take this off. Ah. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. And the last thing, I'm gonna 
last thing is we're gonna use um, the rest of a, these. No, a teaspoon of that adobo powder that has a mix. Of Where are the teaspoons? Right there. And is there any salt that goes in there? No. Oh, one teaspoon salt. So actually, we need two one. teaspoons of salt, and let's do one teaspoon of that adobo powder to add the heat. The, that won't set off mommy's autoimmune system. The cook. All right, we've added our spices. Go Close ahead. Your ears, because here comes the thunder. <laughs> So Caden is now back watching his favorite YouTube person, Scrap Man. If you have any young designers, he's one that does not use cuss words. That's why we like him. So I'm going to actually try this before I do all of the recipes that go with this. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is a lot of flavor. I think I might need to, um, huh, I think I might need to mix it up some more. <laughs> so I understand why she recommended using olive oil. Flax has a definite aftertaste. So this is going to be my healthy batch. I'm sure I'll make another batch with olive oil that is not necessarily unhealthy, but olive oil, according to Dr. Brooke Goldner, increases the omega-9s, which is not so good for the blood vessels and the heart, um, which is kind of flies in the face of everyone who's like, olive oil is really good for you. So it's definitely better than safflower, sunflower, coconut, avocado, all the oils we love, and I still have a bunch of those. Anyways, this is gonna be really yummy. Um, I'm going to put it on stuff. I'm going to make a recipe right now with it. Yay. Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. Look at the children dancing around.